Hi, today we're going to cover SecRMM running in a virtual environment. Um, specifically, we're going to talk about Microsoft Hyper-V and Azure. And we'll start off by even RDPing to a physical machine. So I'm going to connect to this um, computer on my network. And uh, this computer, um, interestingly enough, is running the Hyper-V instance. So you could see there's the domain controller, SCCM, and, and we're going to connect to this workstation A. But um, because I'm RDP'd to this machine, um, you can see uh, when I insert a uh, removable storage device, and I'm going to try and make it so you can see see both things just so you understand. I'm going to insert a, a USB drive into this machine, this physical machine right here, this Windows 10 box. And um, you can see that it's, it's listed right here. So there's no data on it. And then over here on the virtual, um, through the RDP session, you could see that it shows up here. So what does that look like in our, in our environment? Um, if, if, you, if you look here on the physical machine, you could see we just mounted this drive E and we got a secondary message telling us that this drive went online on this, on this computer. And it tells you that on that machine, here, here's the person that's logged into the computer and notice here on the local machine, I'm, I'm logged in as uh, this guy. So I, I can understand through the virtual uh, who's, who's doing what. And if we come on the other side over here um, where this is, let me just write a file quick so you could, I'll show you both things. Uh, I'll say uh, copy this to here, paste that in there. And then um, you can see here that here's our drive, but notice the drive has a special syntax. It's telling you on this virtual that it's really mounted on this, this computer here. And then um, you see the same experience when for write operations. So I know exactly really the story of what's going on. Okay. So if I unplug it, we'll go do go do the same thing in a hyper V session. So now I'll connect as because my virtuals are in a domain. Okay. And um all right, so let's do the same thing. Here's my, here's my drives in my virtual environment. And when we plug the USB drive, again, this is the physical show popping up here. But you can see down here, it en ends up being this guy. All right, so come over here and we can see the same thing. But what I wanna call out to you this time Remember last time it just said it was mounted on a physical drive. Here it tells you the hypervisor, which is Hyper-V, and what um, hypervisor host computer this guest is mounted on. And then, of course, it tells us back to the physical. Okay? So exact same experience. It's just you're getting more information about the virtual environment. Okay. So last, last but not least, the um, best part of the demo is if we come in here. Oh, by the way, how do I get those drives to be shared? The, the secret is this. You come in here to edit. So here, um, again, I'm in the cloud, but this works the same for all of these. And you come to local resources. And then down here at the bottom, local devices and resources, click more. And then you can see here, I for the demo, I click drives that I plug in later, and then I always click this. 
Um, but if you already had the USB drive mounted, you can just pick it from here, but it's a better better demo to show you show you this way. So, okay, so up into the cloud we go. Connect. So, okay. Okay, so um, here, I'm going to do the same thing, right? You can see here's my disks from Azure, and uh, when we plug in the USB drive, again, that's our physical, don't get confused. You can see here and here, and then if we come in here, This is just telling me I didn't put a, light score, a sec RMM license, but we're going to get the exact same thing as before. And if you look at this, here's our here's our special drive syntax. And notice the properties of the device are consistent across the whole thing. So when you go to run reports, sec RMM reports, or look at the data through SCCM, you are going to have a matching serial number and all the all the characteristics of the drive. Um, but what did I wanted to tell you here? Same thing. We're on the Microsoft Hyper-V, and but this is a, a Microsoft server somewhere up in the cloud, and I'm not sure if this has any meaning or not. But um, and it does tell you that the device is back down in the physical. So I don't even know if I have any data up here. Um, Otherwise, I would do a write for you. Let's see. How about we do that? Copy. Paste. So now I'm I'm writing through in the cloud back down to my physical device, and it's so now the copy's completed, and um, and we've got a we've got a, a copy through the cloud, again, going to our physical, and um, here's the target, and you can see that this is relative to the, uh, the virtual machine in the cloud. Okay, and again, um, if I close out my session, or, or let's take it offline, and um, come back in here, you can see all these externals. Let's see. Um, you can see back on the physical that the it, we we know through Sec RMM that we're, that a device is being mounted, and also when it goes offline. So that's a quick demo of uh, Sec RMM running in a Microsoft virtualized environment. Um, thank you for your time today and have a good day.